Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading The Remarried Empress episode 168. And if you guys can, I am, I set a goal for myself and that is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. It's currently April and I currently have 6,000 subscribers. But it'd be so amazing if I can reach that goal or get somewhat close to it by 2024, December. Um, please feel free to subscribe share, comment, and like this video. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm a bit out of breath because I did run after an ice cream truck and I am pregnant. <laughs> I am in my third trimester. And so I went, uh, I chased after an ice cream truck and they served banana split. And so, yeah. <laughs> and my dog got a little pup cup or a pup cone. So she's happy over there. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. The Empress Chambers in the West Palace. My goodness, is it true that His Majesty won't let you see the princess? Viscountess Verdi is your lady-in-waiting. How did she suddenly become the child's nanny? Mother? Father? Is this all because of that girl who to, who's to become the mistress? That girl? Are you talking about Evelyn? What does that girl have to do with this? Well, why else would his majesty suddenly pull away from me? You're right. You had to endure so much ever since that girl arrived. Good. I don't think they're instinctively attached to her or anything just because she's their child. But I can't remain complacent. I have to make sure that they won't think of going to see her, even if they find out the truth. I hate that she lives here. Don't worry. She can hardly be called a mage with her skill level. Exactly. She can't come close to your beauty, so His Majesty will lose his interest in her soon. <laughs> After the Viscount and his wife's departure. I do have some time, but not a lot. I need to win back His Majesty's favor. I've overcome everything life has thrown at me. I can do this. I need to practice with a real baby and not a teddy bear. Then I'll be able to hold mine properly. Erione, bring me my bring me a baby. I beg your pardon. I need a baby, Erione. A baby. One who's somewhere in age to the princess. I'm willing to pay, so ask their guardian to lend them to me for six hours a day. If they ask for a reason, tell them that the princess needs some friends. Understood, your majesty. If I take things one step at a time, then I'll be able to get out of any crisis. Uh, your majesty. A young man named Alan requests an audience with you. He has a baby with him. What? The devil? <gasps> he brought the child here? Has he lost his senses? Uh, how dare you come here? Rashta. It's your majesty. We're not friends. I... I just... I came on here... I came here on other business, but... I wanted you to see the child. Put some respect into your tone. The, the truth is, there's something I have to tell you, Rashta. I told you to address me properly. Rashta, and your child too. The Empress' first child. Dun dun. Our son is first child of the Eastern Empire's Empress. What in the world are you saying? Have you lost your wits? He should be, he should at least be treated like somewhat like a prince. Wouldn't it be sad if he lives his life without knowing that his mother is the empress? You weren't much help to him in the past because you were just a slave. But there's no need to hide who you are anymore, is there? Uh, she is appalled. The Remarried Empress, episode 168. 
Meanwhile, in the Western Empire, it's almost summer. Henry spent a few days with Kaufman learning method to sense mana. I spent that time reading art or playing the piano nearby. Mastas arrived with some medicine that she wanted me to give to my brother. <laughs> Stinky. <laughs> my parents have started to discuss how much longer they want to stay. They also told me that Rasha tried to have them murdered, but Henry prevented it from happening. They scoffed and said nobody could get rid of our family that easily. Sometimes I think of Krista and feel uneasy, but on the whole, my days have been peaceful. His Majesty seems to have mastered the techniques. I think it's time to end our lessons. <laughs> That's great! And I have another piece of good news. I received a report from the initial trading merchant group. They said they have seen great success. After Kaufman, Kaufman's departure, when are you going to teach me how to sense mana? I only just mastered the skill. It's too risky. But the Grand Duke said there was no problem with your skills. I need to first test a skill to see if I can actually use it properly. Huh? Mm. That adorable glare won't change my mind. <sighs> How are you going to test your skills? I have something suitable in mind. So don't worry and just give me some time. I'll finish my test quickly and help you, all right? Very well. Hmm. Are you disappointed, my queen? Not really. Because it looks like you are. I'm not. Are you sure? You refuse to say more than two words in response. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? What do you think about holding a banquet to celebrate your our pregnancy a banquet to celebrate our pregnancy such an event only brings up bad memories uh, your birthday is coming up it'll be stressful for our guests if we hold two events so close together i do feel bad that i have to say no right away really Please? But I didn't hold any birthday celebrations back in the Eastern Empire either because it was so close to New Year's ceremony. What about a simple one? It's also be a celebration of our trade with Looped going smoothly. Please say yes. You really want this, don't you? Very well. Yay! I'll write the invitations, my queen. That's my job. You just relax, listen to the music, or go watch some performances. Oh, I don't understand. Why is he act reacting like that? It's a little suspicious. That evening. It's been a while, Marquis Catron. I'll get straight to the point. What's Duke Zemencia, the Elder's weakness? What do you suddenly want to know? You know what I'm getting at. I'm offering you a chance to change side. Think about it. He saved himself by sacrificing his own daughter. You think he wouldn't do the same to his nephew? The rumors that do cast Chris aside true? The decision to send Chris to Compshire was made during a family meeting. But... If this incident was the Duke acting on his own, that leaves me with a question of why. Don't, don't. He is very vulnerable when it comes to the younger Duke's two children. Thanks, but that's not enough to uh, absolve you of your sins. Don't you agree? What more do you want? Hmm. This is such a scary... Oh. Your body. 
Look how evil he looks here. That is scary. Like, we saw the part of Rasha looking pretty evil. But this is terrifying. And it's like a whole other side of him, you know? And... But what does he mean? What else do you want? And he said, your body. Oh, goodness. All right, it's getting so dark. All right, guys. What do you guys think about this? One, I kind of feel bad for Ian, which is Rasha's first child. It sucks that Rasha doesn't want anything to do with this kid. She she just wants to win the win Sovetia's heart back and just be continue to be the empress. But I think she's a little she's a little bit too crazy now, and Sovetia's probably lost interest in her completely. But for her to summon someone else's child, like, I'm kind of afraid. Because, like, she had no experience with kids. I mean, she birthed two child, but she she didn't have the chance to raise any of them so far. But to hold someone else's baby, I feel like she's going to do something stupid or bad to that baby. The baby that she's renting from someone else, you know? I don't know. She keep on digging herself a hole and keep on going deeper and deeper and deeper. So, I don't know. But I can't, I can't wait, wait for her fake parents to find out the truth that Evelyn is their daughter. Like, what are they going to do? And of course here, why is Henry so happy and excited to do a like, almost like a, essentially a baby shower? Even though, you know, wait, so does that mean like he have some of the ability from Kaufman, a mind reader or not yet? Too many questions in my head, just running through. All right, guys, if you guys enjoy the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon for free to share, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.